Hello everyone, this is Power X24. So today I want to do a video of this Panasonic ceiling fan. I haven't done a video of it since early last year and that video had no commentary so I'm just revisiting this fan. So if you watched my last video you would know that I'm no longer down here. So I don't use this anymore. No one no one is down here now, so no one uses this, but from February 2022 until somewhere in July or June, I was using this fan. So it did get a lot of use, so here it is. It connected to the same Induscom fan control Oops. yeah so let's start with it on low Uh, I think it's up to speed now. This was mostly the speed that I used it on, and it, it does wobble a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, uh, you can see the papers on the wall are moving. The air movement feels okay, it's not, you can kind of hear the bearings, it does have some, a lot of bearing noise actually. Right. Let's go to two. Yeah, the air movement is more powerful now. I can feel it, and the papers, papers are blowing around. You can kind of hear the bearings. Let's go to three. Okay, the air movement is actually pretty good. This is only the third speed. And the papers are blowing around even more. And I'm not I'm not actually hearing the bearings anymore, which is funny. Alright, let's do four. Okay, it's actually very similar to speed 3, also that's not the, obviously that's not the original regulator, so the actual speeds that this would have ran on are probably very different from what we're seeing from this controller. I don't, I don't think I even have any Panasonic controllers at, at the moment, so this is what we have. Okay, let's do five. 
This is as fast as this thing can go. It's still pretty quick. I don't even remember if it has a replacement capacitor. I installed it like a, more than a year ago, so I don't remember. The air, the air movement's okay. Um, we're seeing all the stuff on the wall is blowing around. The top of the canopy is turning yellowed. I don't even think it was that yellow when I first installed it. <laughs> and we're turning it off. I remember the bearings being noisier. While this is spinning down, I'll talk about it a bit. So this fan, I don't really know. I think this is probably going to be the final spot for this fan because it's good in here. The height is the height is fairly reasonable. It's not too close to the ground. Uh, it's definitely not very pretty on a sloped ceiling, but it works as long as you don't look at where it's mounted you can you can see the, the wire yeah so I think this this fan will probably be the final fan to get put in this spot since I've kind of moved everything and I have so many other fans if a new office is, is set up I can just put one of those in there probably one of the Jamaica winds would go in there And this was the fan that I restored. Oh, those three, remember those three fans? This is, this was one of them. It's just the blades are replacements. Well, you can actually see one of the blades is like bent. That's why it's so wobbly. This has a very long spin now. I'm pretty sure the bearings are not ideal either. I remember the bearings grinding a lot on this fan. It doesn't seem to be doing it as badly anymore. Okay, it's done. Mm, there's a little bit of dirt on the blades there. Let me turn on the light. I'm going to try and show you the tag on top of the motor, which I did preserve when I painted this originally. That's what the top of it looks like. Oh, that's a lot of dirt. Yeah. You can see the mounting solution up there the blades this is the blade that's bent huh. it's much more noticeable when you're up here uh, I don't think this needs to be fixed but uh, it might be worth trying to fix that 
Uh, there's the tag. I hope you can see that. I can't tell if I focused on that properly. This camera has a manual focus. And this is the... This has started to really turn yellow. Might need to restore this fan a second time. Yeah. This was Power X24. Thanks for watching.